Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you alternative projects that I designed using Stampin' Up's August 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you what came in this month's kit. It was called The World's Greatest and it came with three different card designs that you'd make three times each. Now this card here is a shaker card. This is the only card that I created exactly as it was intended to be from the kit. All the other projects I'm gonna show you today are projects that I created using the supplies that came in this month's kit. All right, let me start first with the card I'm gonna be demonstrating today. So it's this card here. So this is a magnet slider card. I just learned this technique last week from my doll nine, Jody Hashimoto of the Stamping Owl. Um, now, how this card works is it opens up like a regular card, but you can see it has a little pocket on the front. You have the message here that says you're the best, and then when you pull the tab, that metal is gonna pop onto that ribbon, and then you have the inside message that says, you deserve a medal. So this is a really fun card that was created with magnets, so let me show you how we're gonna put that together. All right, first of all, we're gonna start with the base card. So this is the base card that came in the paper pumpkin kit. All right, I'm also gonna be using this piece that came in the paper pumpkin kit as well. And then I've added a piece of cardstock here. So this piece is three and a quarter by five and a half inches of basic black cardstock. And then I'm gonna be taking this and using a one and a half circle punch, and I'm just going to punch a little nip out of the middle of that cardstock on the end there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this inside the card so you can see it a little bit better. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do to this piece here is I'm going to take this piece that came in the paper pumpkin kit and I'm going to adhere it using my stamping seal. And I'm going to adhere it right here onto the front panel. Okay, next I'm gonna take this piece here. Now this was another one of the cards that came in the kit. I just cut apart one of the cards so I could use this Argyle cardstock. And then I'm going to just put some stamp and seal on the back of this strip and I'm going to glue this on the bottom here. Okay, so this is ready. Now to form the pocket, I'm gonna flip this over and we're going to be using some of these foam strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a full foam strip off of here like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick this along the edge of this black piece of cardstock. And then you can snip it off at the bottom, but I'm just gonna wrap this around like this. Okay, and when I get to this corner, I'm gonna wrap it around like this. Okay, and then I have another piece of the foam adhesive, and I'm gonna go ahead and just match that up together like that, and I'm gonna run this all the way up the side like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take and snip this off. Okay, so once you have this piece going all the way around the edges like that, I'm gonna just check it. So I'm gonna take this strip that's gonna go inside and I'm gonna see that by when I put it in here like that, it's actually a little bit too low. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to just butt it up to the end here where I want it to go. And you can see that it's just the tiniest little bit of extra adhesive that's needed. So I'm gonna take another little piece of adhesive and I'm going to press it in there like that. So just to give it a little bit of a lift. So now when this sits in there, it's gonna sit on the top just like that. Okay, so now we can peel this off. Okay, so now that we removed all the adhesive, I'm gonna flip the card over and then this is gonna go right onto the front of the card, right in the center. Okay, so the base of our card is done. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So this one's kit came with a Pacific Point ink. So I'm just gonna be using my regular size ink pad. And then the kit also came with a two and a quarter inch circle. So let me get my stamp and ink it up. And then I'm gonna stamp this right in the center of the circle. Okay. All right, and then also in the kit, there was this tiny little one and a quarter inch circle. For this one, I'll be using my Memento Black ink. I'm gonna ink it up 
and then stamp right in the center. Okay, the next thing that we need is this really pretty gold seal. This came in the kit as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add some stamp and seal on the back of this. And I'm going to mount this right in the center here, like so. And then I'm gonna take the dimensional and place a dimensional in the back of this piece here. And then we're gonna adhere that right to the middle like that. Okay, so the top of our ribbon is ready. And so then I'm gonna get this piece here and we're going to be stamping this with the ribbon part. So I'm going to be inking this up and we're gonna stamp this ribbon part on here. So I'm gonna line this up at the very top and I'm going to stamp it straight down the middle like that. Okay, so now we have the ribbon. So then at the bottom here, I'm going to add the words, you deserve a medal. Okay, so now we are ready to add our magnets. Okay, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> All right, so these magnets are really teeny tiny. Let me see if you can see these. So these are actually four magnets. There's two magnets that are stuck together. Okay, let me show you, let me separate them. Okay, so there's two magnets like that, all right? So we're gonna wanna put magnets behind here and we're gonna wanna put magnets behind here. All right, so to position these, I'm gonna lay this together like that and I know that I want this metal to go about right there, okay? So I'm gonna carefully flip this over and now I know that I want my two magnets to go right here. So I'm gonna pick up a set of magnets I'm going to use the mini glue dots. I'm going to peel this off and then I'm going to stick that right there. I'm gonna take my second magnet. This is a set of two again. I'm gonna peel it off on a glue dot and I'm going to stick that right there. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna take off a glue dot and I'm gonna stick a glue dot on the back of this card. Okay, so now I've added glue dots to the back of the magnets there. Okay, so now what we have to do is we want to remove these magnets and we want to put them onto the back of our tag. So I'm going to go ahead and just set that on there like this, okay? Press them onto those glue dots and then I'm going to separate them, okay? So now they're exactly where we want them to go. Now we can close everything up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp and seal. So then I'm gonna take another circle like this. I'll go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of this as well. And you could use liquid glue or whatever adhesive you prefer. And then I'm gonna seal this up and hide the magnets there. Okay? All right. So the last thing that we're gonna to do to this is we're gonna take another one of the little seals and then I'm going to fold this in half. And then I'm going to add some adhesive in here as well. And then I'm going to glue this right at the top here and then fold it over and just sandwich it on the edge of that, sandwich it on the edge of this little tag like that. So that'll draw attention to where you need to pull this out. Okay, if we did this correctly, that's gonna stick like that. Okay, phew, all right. So I'm gonna take this and slide this in here like this. Then I'm going to take the ribbon on the front and place it right there on the front. And if everything works according to plan, when I pull this, there we go. That's gonna jump right onto that card and it's gonna say, you deserve a medal, ta-da! Isn't that fun? I just love learning how to do these magnet cards. And trust me, you're gonna probably see me do this a lot. And hopefully next time I'll do it even smoother because this is my very first time making this type of a card. All right, before I go, I wanna just share with you the other alternative projects I created with this month's kit. So first there's this one, it's a sunflower card. I cut apart one of the other cards to create this plaid card base. And then I just use the ribbon. So this, this part here, and I just fussy cut a leaf out of it. And then I just stamped it in mint macaron to get the stem for the flower. Okay, so this is one alternative. Another shaker card that I did was this one here. 
So this one, I added the Hippo and Friends stamp set. So it says World's Greatest Friend. And then I also added these little vellum leaves that were part of this month's kit. So this is kind of a fun little friendship card. Here's another one where I textured some white cardstock using the Argyle embossing folder. I added a gold hoop and then I used that really pretty vellum leaf embellishment from this kit. I also used the stars and I put them on some white flowers from the confetti flower borders punch. Okay, so on this card here, I took those same vellum leaves, but I used a sponge dauber and I just added a little bit of mossy meadow to just make the leaves green. This reminded me of a Miley Lei, and here in Hawaii, whenever we have celebrations or special occasions, um, the giving of or wearing of leis is, is usually seen. So this is to represent a lei, and I love that it had that celebratory sentiment in the set. Here's my final alternate card, and I think this is one of my favorites because I love the fact that this kit gave us the opportunity to make a card that says number one teacher, because right now I think is a, is a really important time that we let teachers know how much we appreciate what they do. So for this card, all I did was I scored down the front of the card right in half, and then the card is gonna flip up like this. And then I took one of the tags that came in the kit and I just mounted that on dimensionals. And so I made just a little easel card like that. And so all the pieces that you see on this card were a part of the kit. The only thing that's not a part of the kit is the black ink because rather than using blue ink, I used the black ink for this particular card. So these are all my finished projects for the April 2020 Paper Pumpkin Kit. I hope that you enjoy learning how to make these projects. If you would like to continue watching my videos, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It was wonderful spending this time with you. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. Until then, aloha. Thank you.